We can save lives in many ways. Someone just helps an old lady cross the road. Someone becomes a superhero. To investigate complexity science may not seem very heroic at first, but it can be life-saving as well. A complex system can be considered as a compound structure consisting of many parts. For example, the weather or the human brain or a group of people such as a crowd participating at a festival or at a demonstration. And that mass events like these, crowd disasters can happen and can even lead to fatal consequences, although typically nobody intends to cause harm. Conventional explanation tends to blame the participants. Think about the Hillsboro disaster. We say there are some people who are just rude and even the nice people can be impatient and push forward. And of course, at some point, panic breaks out and unleashes hell. But the truth is that many crowd disasters do not result from the people's inhuman or irrational behavior. It is caused by the damn thing called physics. Examine a moving crowd as a complex system. It's like a river. If everybody has enough personal space, then the river run, runs nicely and peacefully. If, however, more people are crammed into a small space, density rises, then physical context, unexpected stoppages occur unintentionally. Our river is not so relaxed anymore. And if the density reaches a critical limit, then the frequency and the strength of the physical context will inevitably increase. The forces add up and are transmitted from one body to another completely uncontrollably and inescapably. So the flow of the river becomes entirely chaotic. This phenomenon called the crowd turbulence. And if the crowd reaches this phase, there is no turning back. The pushes intensify so rapidly that certainly someone will fall to the ground. This creates a hole where the surrounding people are still pushed from behind, but not anymore from the front. So the whole like vacuum suck them inside and they are either forced to step on the fallen person or they will also fall. So what can we learn from this? That there is no need for people to be aggressive or to panic. The crowd turbulence and the black hole effect. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this action is actually the black hole effect. So because it, if it consumes you, there is no escape from there. And these things actually happen all the time if the density reaches a critical limit. So if you want to prevent these tragedies, we don't need to make people behave. We need to control their density at all times. So if we learn the physics behind, then we realize it's not our enemy anymore. It is actually our superpower. So thank you all. <laughs>